hogs on the mile planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, 77 Cuddy, black with the purple strip. Hey everybody, it's your boy Raven the Seed. Just want to straight out come off the bat. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. Uh, viewing my video, sharing my video, hit the like, subscription, everything. Just want to tell y'all thank you. Everybody stay safe. But let's get to the game Sunday. Okay. Um, should, right out the back, should be a Sunday night primetime game. Like, really? You're going to have Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, as the quarterbacks in NFL is like, nah, let's go to 12. What? What? Anyway, so let's get to it. This is going to be a messy game. Um, It's going to be a very messy game. It's going to be a very messy game. Um, shout out to uh, King Lorde. Um, was the first person in one of my comments let me know this game is going to be rainy. I didn't look at the weather yet. But with that being said, it's going to be interesting. It is going to be very, very interesting. Now, we know they have, obviously, Allen. They have Stefan Diggs. Um, for as their, um, for as the main people that I'm worried about is just really just those two. Um, Kadeek has been killing it. Like, <sighs> Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. That's all I got to say. Like, how you not? You got first front row seats when this man was in college. You like, nah. Nah. <laughs> it still don't make sense to me. I don't understand. But anyway, anyway, that that's a whole nother whole nother topic. Um Josh Allen, I believe he's leading the league right now for his yardage passing. 1,014 yards, 9 TDs, 2 interceptions. Um, yeah, and you know our Ravens defense, they're going to have some uh, with Stephon Diggs. Uh, 27 receptions, 344 yards, 4 TDs. They're going to have some... They, go, they, they know they're going to have a challenge, you know? They bounced back last week, kind of. Um... The Patriots still, in my opinion, had too many passing yards. But I'm with my, what my boy said, MP Juice, man. Um, it's going to start clicking. It's still early. It's going to start clicking. Um, have to keep in mind Mike McDaniel. Hopefully I said his name right. Mike McDaniel. This is, I believe, is really his second year being a defense coordinator. If I'm wrong, let me know. Because Michigan Ravens. Yeah, that's two. So if, if it's more than that, let me know. Put that in the comments. Um, but with that rain, I don't know what the wind is going to be like. It might it might be a low-scoring game. For the Bills rushing, their rushing leader, according to ESPN, Josh Allen. 19 carries, 113 yards, 1 TD. So I don't know who their running back is, um, but that, that, that says it right there, you know. we uh, I'm going to get to my Ravens. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see because, in my opinion, when these players have been getting off for as wide receivers – They've been on our rookies, Amar Davis. Now, to me, I like Pepe, Dennis Amar Davis, in my opinion. I will put Pepe as the third, but they've been getting off on, on Amar Davis a lot. I'm not really tripping on that because um, I know he's going to bounce back. He's going to correct that. Um, Many would have been so interesting with that uh, 
Dolphins game if Cal Fuller was out there. Oh, Lord. Lord, that would have been interesting. Um, but, yeah, so um, it's going to be interesting to see if Marcus Peters um, or Marlon Humphrey is going to shadow these, if, if Mike McDaniel is going to keep either one of them on, um, you know, on uh, Stefan. So it's going to be interesting. If he plays the slot, I will put uh, Marlon in there. Oh, hey, I'll give Pepe a chance, one or two chances. If he don't cook Pepe, I'll be like, okay, we might we might have something. But uh, it's going to be, man, it's going to be a slugger. <laughs> but, uh, man, I know uh, Bum Miller hasn't had, as far as a defense, Bum Miller hasn't had, uh, I believe they said, somebody said it. I can't remember what I was looking at. But Von Miller, I think he got that sack week, like, one or something like that. And he hasn't been, like, on a constant sack, like, what I was expecting. Um, but it's going to be interesting. It is going to be interesting, mainly with the Ravens, with our left tackle situation. Right tackle, we will see. I'm used to seeing Von just be everywhere, really, dude. It's just that good. Um. But it's going to be interesting. As far as the Ravens, Lamar Jackson. Dang. 748, oh, 749 yards. 10 TDs, 2 interceptions. Um, He's been balling. Like, he has been balling. Um, we know last time they met, he got knocked out um, of that playoff game, but regular season, he whooped them. Um, but that was a different team. Um, that was a different team then. That was actually, what, two years ago, I believe, when he got knocked out. Um, got that concussion, I think it was. Shout out to the Bills Mafia, too. Um, I still get a couple of comments on that video I did. Um, during that um, game with the Bill Mafia showing support to Lamar Jackson um, charity that that is just awesome but um, yes yeah, so I think he's going to be doing pretty good but with this rain and everything it, it comes down to the, our rushing and Justice Hill he stepped up he stepped up um JK, we know he's back. Hopefully he can continue to uh get that rust off. Um as far as our receiving, Bateman, hopefully he goes off. Um because Bateman got a lot of attention last week. He got a lot of attention last week. Cause uh they must have saw him. He, 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 he cooked them dolphins. He, he flayed them dolphins. It's just the defense didn't didn't put the season in on it. It just left dry. But um, Mark Andrews got off. He actually re is leading in the receiving. Uh, I said res receiving. <laughs> Ravens uh, yardage 245 um, with 22 receptions, three TDs. That I didn't know. I know he, I knew he was cooking, but I didn't know he was like leading us like that. That in itself is uh, interesting. But far as the matchup, the um, ESPN actually has Ravens winning uh, by fifty eight point one percent, and we're both two and one. Um, in my opinion, we both should be three and zero. Oh. This match obviously should be on prime time, like I said, but it um I mean, we really both should be three and zero. Like Dolphins, that was a fluke. I don't I don't care what nobody say. That was a fluke. But I believe the Bills are gonna be playing very, very upset. <laughs> After seeing that video, they offense coordinated and destroyed all that stuff, which was like, I can understand. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if Greg Rumi did that, I'd be like, you're winning me over, Greg. You're winning me over because you showed that passion. You know what I'm saying? Um, but 
it's gonna uh, it's gonna be a good one. I really don't. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. Um, I got that feeling like that, like the 2018 Chargers for some reason. I don't know why. I feel if we're gonna meet them again, and that's that's my. I don't know if we're going to win this one. Because I feel if... I don't know. It's hard to beat a team twice. Because we're going to meet them in the playoffs. And that's what I'm like. I don't... I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Because I feel like if we lose this one... I think we might lose. I think we might lose because they going to sit there and be playing angry because of last week with their Dolphins and their clock management terrible. And they're going to let their anger out on the Ravens. And I believe with that rain, that's going to mess us up. Because I do not want Lamar running that ball. And our run game is not that good right now. But Justice Hill, he did hit a big one. He hit, he could have hit two big ones in back-to-back -back weeks, but... So I have I have us probably losing by like six points. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Um, uh, I have us losing by uh, six points on this one. I know some people, man, you got us losing. Man, come on, let's be real. Let's be real. None of nobody can sit there and say they we believe we be going undefeated the whole year before the year started. Like every team is gonna lose something, lose a game one or two. But I believe this one we might end up losing. And I say the weather is going to play a huge part of that. Um, but, yeah. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. What's your score prediction? Um, hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Hit that share. Everybody stay safe. God bless.